My name is Chris Gibbs from Western Ohio, and, and I'm a farmer. I was in my local Republican leadership for 20 years. I was chair of my county Republican Party for seven and spent 12 years on the county board of elections, which is a Republican appointment. Most of that is chairman. Finally, prior to retirement, I spent 30 years inside what's called the deep state at the United States Department of Agriculture, serving federal farm programs to farmers. To me, Republican values meant diplomacy, statesmanship, personal responsibility, and free trade, certainly. This Republican cult no longer represents any of those values. Now, I voted for Trump, but I also spoke out about the disastrous trade policies he forced upon American agriculture through punitive tariffs against our trading partners. You know, in a real party, everybody has a voice. And while no one always expects to always get their way, everyone should expect to be heard. It's how you build a wide and strong base of support. In Trump's Republican cult, there's no discussion, no dissent, no vetting of policy. And that's what you get when you let hate-filled populists take over a party. You see, in my view, populism is nothing more than a perennial search for a villain to slay with no plan of what to do with the body. And in the Trump cult, who are the villains? Well, first and foremost, anybody who disagrees with the president certainly is a villain. That's what happened to me. I was just trying to save my family farm business. Who else are villains? Our institutions, the intelligence services, FBI, our trading partners, people with brown skin, health care, on and on. All villains. But with no plan of what to do after each of these is torn down. Now, I refuse to succumb to the scourge of populism. It's vile hate for our fellow citizens. It's hijacking of Christian values. It's just not what I was raised on. And I won't tolerate it locally, and I sure as hell am not going to tolerate it from a president. I denounced and left the party in the fall of 2019. I can think for myself, and I think the only way forward as a nation, and more importantly, as a people, is to extract the scourge of populism from our midst. And that starts with the cult leader. I'll vote Biden in the fall.